You're watching on YouTube. Doing a little Silent Hill marathon to celebrate the big Silent Hill announcement from Konami coming tomorrow. Let's do this. <gasps> Thank you, AO, for the 13. <sighs> he does that in Dead by Daylight. Look at the enhanced edition, guys. Look. Look at the graphics. Look at the graphics. Oh. <clears throat> God, it looks incredible. I mean, it, it looks as good as it's going to get. three years ago. So then, why am I looking for her? Our special place. What could she mean? This whole town was our special place. Does she mean the park on the lake? We spent the whole day there. Just the two of us, staring at the water. Could Mary really be there? Is she really alive? Waiting for me? Definitely, bro. James is so stupid that all you have to do to trick him <clears throat> is send him a letter. Just mark it from his... You could even mark it from his dead fucking wife and he'll buy it. Gullible James. Gullible James, they call him. He's doing all this bullshit because some prankster <laughs> wrote him a letter and signed it from his dead wife. I, every time I play this, I find that so hard to get over. Yeah. <clears throat> Here he goes, look at him. Like a drive seer and now he's sprinting down this path. Like, imagine you do this, like, like let's say I hate my neighbor and my neighbor had like uh, their daughter passed away or something. I write them a letter, drop it in their mailbox. Yeah, I'm over in China. Come and find me. Then I hear the car start up the next morning. Oh, sorry, game saved. I don't remember the save button. I don't want to press the load button by accident, so just hold your horses. Something in that well. Looking at it makes me feel like someone's groping around inside my skull. When's the last time I played? I can't check. 
Checking her disc. There you go. All right, what's the save button? I guess I don't have it bound. Oh fuck! Don't know. Wait, really, Mr. Bolt? What'd you say? Love this song. I love this song. Look at those enhanced videos. Excuse me. I... <gasps> oh, I, I'm sorry. I, I no, was it's just... okay. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm kind of lost. Lost? Yeah. I'm looking for Silent Hill. Is this the right way? Um, yeah. It's hard to see with this fog, but there's only the one road. You can't miss it. Thanks. But... Yes? I think you'd better stay away. This, uh... Th this town, there's something wrong with it. It's kind of hard to explain, but... Imagine trying to remake dangerous? this. Maybe. Good luck. And it's not just the fog either. Okay, it's... I got it. I'll be careful. I'm not lying. No, I believe you. It's just, I guess I really don't care if it's dangerous or not. I'm going to town either way. But why? My wife. I'm looking for someone. Who is it? Someone very important to me. I'd do anything if I could be with her again. It's sort of like Silent Hill 1. I'm looking for my mama. I, I mean my mother. It's been so long since I've seen her. I thought my father and brother were here, but I can't find them either. I'm sorry. It's not no, your problem. I, I hope you find them. Yeah, you too. Thank you, Gus, for the prime. Thank you, Emily Egg, for the two months. And Desha, thank you. And Mr. Eternal Enigma with the tier three. And the 64. Oh, really, sir? Let me check. Thank you. <clears throat> Oh, wow, that's the last one I played. January 20th. Oh, wait. No, never mind. Never mind. False alarm. Played a few months ago. False alarm. Thank you, Enigma. Thank you. I I don't know, Going Pale. I, I haven't played the HD collection. I've just watched it. What is it? Oh. Nothing. Sure is quiet here, huh? I guess. James, come on, dude. Aren't you looking for someone? That's right. Leave her alone, man. Aren't you looking for someone? That... Uh. Yo, Queen Pip. Thank you, Geeky, for the 60. Let's go. Thank you, thank you. Th -th 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 thank you.
I'm taking the chainsaw, fellas. Don't care. I'm taking whatever ending it wants to give me is what I'm going for in this one. <clears throat> What's that leaf crunching? Thank you, Eddie, for the 27. Thank you. I don't know how to, like, getting the different endings in this game is weird. I usually get the good ending, though. Ugh! Oh, James. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Oh, got places to go. Gotta find my dead wife, though. Uh oh. Are these marks blood? <clears throat> Shadow, just. Yeah, I'm pumped for Bloober Team! Bloober Team presents Silent Hill 2. Dude, if Bloober Team actually does Silent Hill 2 Remake. <clears throat> It's gonna be a yikes from me. The only way I can see a Silent Hill 2 remake panning out is if they get a bunch of the old team back and still, like, even if they get a bunch of the old team back, those guys are like 70, 80 now and probably the passion has been out the window for like 30 years at this point. <clears throat> Not 30 years. I don't honestly know how old they would be, but... What I do know is someone that was talented at something 20 years ago that hasn't done it in that long isn't always the best option to bring them back just because they were good at something that long ago. Exhibit A, George A. Romero. Thank you, Air, for the sub. May he rest in peace, that beautiful man. Uh-oh. Ew! Ugh. James, he's scared. You want some?
Is it dead? What the hell is it? It's not human. Dead. Look at those blood splashes. Yeah, Chris. Oh, yeah. <gasps> this thing broken? Take it anyway. I might need it. What the? No, I'm just gonna get whatever ending it gives me. Okay, I'm not the best at remembering where to go in this game. Silent Hill 1, I know where to go always. Okay, wait. I know where to go now. Thank. This is not the way. Actually, I have no clue where to go. Oh, wait. Yeah, it is this way. Here come the weird sounds. Oh, James. Hey! Get off of you, fuck! the door sounds <sighs> look at those shadow look at the graphics guys look with your eyes look at the graphics the dodge Run! I ran Silent Hill 3 at GDQ, yeah.
I stretch my arm out, I just might be able to reach the key. Damn it. Damn piece of shit. Um, the, okay, the reason this looks so good. Um, I'm playing something called the Enhanced Edition. Okay, do you know the RE4 Remake HD version? Uh, this game also has the same kind of thing. They, these, the fans worked really hard on it. This is, this has been in the works, I think, a lot longer than RE4, though. But it's exact same kind of thing. Alright, so what key did we get? Look. We, we didn't get a key. Guys, we didn't get a key. This is not an No, this is not an official HD remake. Nobby doesn't go. Wait, they do care now, actually. Never mind. Who is that? Guys, look! Look! Look at that man right there! And that man right there! And that man right there! And that man right there! Look at those men! Where's the game? He's red! Red! And that woman right there! The expert cosplayer! This is Cosplay Let's Play, thank you for the 45! Nice to see you! Thank you, this is Lady Zero. 202. Hey, Grubin. Two ten. We gotta go the other way, James. Perfect. to tell for sure, but I think there's something on the other side of that hole. Hello. <gasps> Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. And we're off. We oh gotta check my health.
Man, poor guy. What's this? Henry Mildred Scott. The scars from the past will remove the nail that stops time. Where is the other note that explains this puzzle? Oh. Three needles stand of three different heights. The fat, the tall, and the thin. From slow to fast, they move to the right. Scott rests not on three, but fifteen. Easy. Thank you, Ozman, for the five months. By the way, for these hard puzzles, I don't know the answer to them. So I'm legitimately going to have to figure them out for the fucking tenth time. And as I always do. And I always get stuck on them. <laughs> I'm not good at Silent Hill puzzles, but very few people are, so... So it don't matter. It don't matter. I don't care! Ugh! Ugh! Go up. Yeah, Primus. There's a lot of puzzles where, like, the... What you're reading could be interpreted many different ways. And there's no, like, hint to be like, no, this is the correct way. You just have to try a few different ways and be like, okay. Oh! that Crazy, James? Alright. The Enhanced Edition may have changed the camera here, I'm not sure. Because someone that worked on this was in my chat once and I was mentioning this exact story and they said they might change it. Maybe they did. Okay. So, that key there on the table. A lot of players will get control of James and immediately just leave the closet, okay? I've seen this happen. I've done it before in the past when I, before I like played the game a lot and before I speed ran the game. Here's one issue with the apartment building, this section of the game. Like it's a major issue with Silent Hill 2 in my opinion. As soon as you do this, if you didn't get that key, you are going to be lost for potentially hours because once you leave this room, 
there's plenty of places to go and plenty of things to do. But you can't truly progress until you get this key. And the odds of someone coming back in this room and then going into the closet are so low. But judging from people in chat admitting they've been there, it's a thing that happens. It is. You'll watch playthroughs of this game on Twitch and you'll just watch streamers run, run out of that closet. And for me, for a lot of people, they're like, go back, you stupid idiot, go back. And for people like me, I'm just like, all right, I'm watching someone else. <laughs> oh no, this way. No, I don't switch the channel immediately, but you already know they're going to be lost for a long time after that. Fire escape. Uh, yeah, Limbo, I was thinking that. So, so, so they did change that camera angle. I wasn't sure if they did, because I haven't, I haven't played the non-HD edition, in, or non... I am playing what's called Silent Hill 2 Enhanced Edition. Um, I haven't played the original in forever, and I never will again. I have no intention of ever going back. This version is far superior in every way. And I don't get nostalgia from the fuzzy screen of PS2. Yeah, we have to read this note after. Oh yeah, probably should have picked that up. Yeah, the game still looks great on PS2. In the same way that RE4 still looks good without the HD mod. But then when you put those mods on... Whew, whew. Okay, let's drop the juice down. It's a trash chute. There's some kind of strange garbage stuck in this hole. So let's put this down. Heavy six pack of expired canned juice. Nice job, James. Yo, drunk goblins. Garbage bag is torn and the contents strewn all over. Old man coin. What's this? Some gossip magazine. The police announced today that Walter Sullivan, who was arrested on the 18th of this month for the brutal mil murder of Billy Locane and his sister Miriam, committed suicide in his jail cell early on the morning of the 22nd. Guys, this is about RE or Silent Hill 4. Sorry, there's too many Silent Hill and RE things coming out in the next couple days. My brain's in a jumble, fellas. According to the police statement, Sullivan used a su soup spoon to stab himself in the neck, severing his artery. By the time the guard discovered him, Sullivan was dead from blood loss. The spoon buried two inches in his neck. Soup spoon, mind you. An old schoolmate of Walter Sullivan's from his hometown of Pleasant River said he didn't look like the type of guy who would kill kids. But I do remember that just before they arrested him, he was blurting out all sorts of strange stuff, like, he's trying to kill me, he's trying to punish me. The monster, the red devil, forgive me. I did it, but it wasn't me. The schoolmate then added, I guess now that I think of it, he was kind of crazy. Yeah. A bakpa soup spoon, yeah. Oh, 
Fuck the soup spoon. Oh, I don't have a button to switch my weapons. I gotta rebind that. Thank you, casual dad. I did see that the the chicken game, yeah. I'll be playing it. Yeah, L1 doesn't do anything. One sec. Dude, you go into the options of Silent Hill 3. I did this before the stream, actually. And it lagged for 10 minutes straight. I went and made breakfast. I was getting so tired of it. Wait. Whatever. It's fine. Actually, no, it's not. Here we go. Albert F and Wesker! 69 miles, let's go. Nice is in the chat for the Weskmeister. Thank you, sir. What I have for breakfast? I had a toasted Western sandwich. Thank you, Athe, for the 50 months. Uh, Wesker, thank you, sir. Nice is in the chat. The 69 Wesker, beautiful young baby boy. What, what a man. Thank you, Monkfish. Thank you, Osmond. T tomorrow and the next day, Wesker. Oof. Thank you, Lord, for the 15. I need to pee. One second, guys. And I'm gonna refill my coffee. Music to uh, peace out. One sec. Thank you so much, Kit Kat. I didn't do it. Do what? I didn't do anything. I, I swear. He was like this when I got here. My uh, my name's James. Great timing. James Sunderland. Um, Eddie. Eddie. I'm back. Who's that dead guy in the kitchen? I didn't do it. I swear I didn't kill anybody. You're not friends with that red pyramid thing, are you? Red pyramid thing? I don't know what you're talking about. Honest. But I did see some weird looking monsters. They 
scared the hell out of me, so I ran in here. <laughs> well, I guess this place isn't too safe either. What happened here anyway? Uh, I, I told you, I don't know. I'm not even from this town. I just, I just... <sighs> you too, huh? Something just brought you here, right? Uh, yeah, you could say that. Well, whatever it is, I think you better get out of here soon. Yeah, you're right. What about you? I'll leave as soon as I'm done here. Eddie, be careful. James, I... I, um... You be careful, too. <laughs> thank you, Lord Helpham, for the 15. Thank you, Riddle, and thank you, and Kit Kat, an awesome cosplayer and woman. Thank you so much for the raid. Ooh. Thank you. Eddie? Eddie, are you okay? Yeah, I guess. Eddie, are you okay? James, no! James! Stop! Stop it! Uh oh, he hates that football player. Couldn't care less about them. Oh, the chirps, the chirps. No, I'm not going for any particular ending. I'm just gonna see what we get. Thank you. Yeah, you can follow iKitKat right there. The beautiful shout out button. I forget what's even in here. Tr trouble. This isn't right. Uh-oh, Mia Max. Uh-oh. I don't know if I can all tab. Imposter Eye Kit Kat is getting some follow, so no. No. Who did, <laughs> who did we just follow? Yeah. This is so sketchy. Uh. Yeah, I'm doing Silent Hill 1, 2, and 3.
There it is. BV7. What does it all mean, guys? Okay, wrong room. Thank you, hostel. It's not this way, it's not this way! Hell yeah. Wait a sec, are we miss- no, no. Oh, it's you. Yeah, I'm James. <sighs> Angela. Angela, okay. I don't uh, know what you're planning, uh. but there's always another way. Really? Hmm. But you're the same as me. It's easier just to run. Besides, is what we deserve. No, I'm not like you. Decked. Are you afraid? <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. It's okay. Did you find your mother? Not yet. She's not anywhere. Did she live in this apartment building? I don't know. So... All you know is she lived in this town. What did you say? How do you know that? Yeah. Well, I just figured, because this is where you're looking for her. Bullshit. How else would I know? Yeah. Am I right? I'm so tired. So, why did you come to this town anyway? I... I'm sorry. Stop with the questions, James. Did... did you find the person you're looking for? Not yet. Her name's Mary. She's my wife. I... I'm sorry. It's okay. Anyway, she's dead. I don't know why I think she's here. She's dead? Don't worry. I'm not <laughs> crazy. No. At least, I don't think so. Not at all. Uh, I've got to find my mama. Should I go with you? This town's dangerous. Now I know what you meant back there in the cemetery. I'll be okay by myself. Besides, I'd just slow you down. What about that? Will you hold it for me? Sure. No problem. Sure. If I kept it, I'm not sure what I might do. Please, 
God, no. the exchanges, like, will you hold it for me? Referring to a knife? Sure. <laughs> like, sure. Sure, give me that big butcher knife. Sure. Not big for James, he's massive. He's like eight feet. Wait, what's he doing? This is weird. Okay, uh, guys, I don't know the answer to this, but I intend to find out. First, first lies the seat of he who is peerless. Silent, Silent Hill puzzles on hard mode are hard as living fuck, by the way. He who is peerless, silent and empty. Well... Heartless and fearless. Beside him sits one who knows the place of the servant. Oh, not this fucking one. Okay, first slides the seat of here. See, remember, um, someone earlier was like, oh, Silent Hill puzzles can be up for interpretation. Or there could be many, well, what is it called, ambiguous? Well, the thing is, like, uh, first slides the seat of he who is peerless, silent, and empty. That could mean, that could mean an empty slot. So there's many things that could mean. That's the thing with these puzzles. So the first one could be So the first one could be silent and empty, heartless and fearless. Beside him sits the one who knows the place of the servant is next to the throne. Dozens of feet, yet not a single toe. The one that is hidden beside him doth go. Seducer of dreams. Yeah, that. <clears throat> lying further from the man and closer to the lady. Men, man and woman seeing all heedless to the raven's call. Silent and hidden the two may be, they be not there for you to see. Return them to whence they would be, and blessing shall descend on thee. I speak thus with the North Star behind me. The birth of the sun is the start to the story. The birth of the sun is the start to the story? Like what? So, see, see, the birth to the sun is the start of the story. So we know the first one is... Lying closer to the lady, right? Old man who knows the place to the servant. The th place beside the king is next. The servant's next to the throne. Uh. Poggers. So I think the the red herring in that is that that starts. No, James, James. Uh, the birth of the sun is the start of the story. Um, I think. 
No, I'm not a genius. I just slightly remember that from my last playthrough. I, like, I remembered that I was stuck on this for so long, and the thing I was stuck on was so stupid. Like, is the first one yellow, or is it empty? But then I'm like, wait, maybe they mean the first one is on the complete other side. Um, and then the sun is supposed to represent the... Just being black, like the birth of the sun. So it's not there yet. Uh, so, um, and on the other side of it, it's like, okay. And like I said earlier, it's up for interpretation. It's, um, what, what's the word for it? It's, uh, it's, uh, I said it earlier. It's, um, remember my brain is shot ambiguous. Yeah. So, so it's like, all right, well, then we'll we'll just put the yellow one on the polar opposite side. And we know the snake is not next to the man. It says that specifically. The snake is not next to the man. So it has to be next to the woman because the first slot is empty. And if it's not empty, then it has the yellow pit thing in it and you reverse it. So there's like four solutions that this puzzle can make you think. And if you try all four and it doesn't work, it's like, oh my God. But... But yeah, just you wait, guys. The Silent Hill 3 hard mode puzzles, whoever did them is on crack. You'll see, if you haven't seen before, it's a treat. Silent Hill 3 puzzles, oh my god. They're so, they're like, some of them are genius. Like some of them are really well thought out, but others are just like fucking garbage. The apartment stairwell key. By the way, Bach Marathon says RE Marathon. Yeah, well, I don't know why people type in stuff that's not in the title. <laughs> oh! Let's go. Oh, God. Oh. All right, stop. What if he goes to the quickie? Watch out, James! Oh, the quickie! Woo! Thank you, Lemon Lime, for the 34. Thank you. a weird boss fight. This reminds me of like an RE7 boss fight where you don't even know what the hell is going on. If you get close to him here, he can still hit you. Yeah, you could do whatever here. Thank you, Lemon Lime Love. Thank you, Storo, and just chilling. Thank you. Are you all still here? Oh shit! Thank you, Badger and Super Nasty. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oops.
This is you guys watching the stream, isn't it? You! It was you, wasn't it? You're the one who stepped on my hand. I don't know. Maybe I did. Ooh. What's a little girl like you doing here, anyway? Huh? Are you blind or something? What's that letter? None of your business. Ooh. You didn't love Mary anyway. Wait! How do you know Mary's name? Thank you, my boy, for the tier two and the 29. Thank you. Really appreciate it. How do you know Mary's name? He sort of sounds like his nose is clogged in that. I'm just doing Silent Hill 1, 2, and 3, by the way. I should have updated the marathon command. I just didn't even think about it. God, uh, my... My brain is so fucking... Clogged. Th this week? I seen that actually, Auntie. Just looked at that. Very cool. I hope they fix her before they do that. This is all the shit coming out. Like, not only am I super pumped about the Silent Hill and Resident Evil presentation, and Resident Evil's actually coming out on the 28th. I think it's the 20 or something, it's not 26 or something. And Silent Hill could be getting a demo. And the Warcraft expansion's coming soon, too. Mary? My brain is just like, BOOM! All three of my favorite franchises are getting something massive. No, you're not. Do I look like your girlfriend? No, my late wife. I can't believe it. You could be her twin. Your face, your voice, just your hair and clothes are different. My name is Maria. My name is Baka like Soup. A, uh, ghost, do I? See? Feel how warm I am? You're really ah! not Mary. I told you. I'm Maria. Ouch. Sorry. I was confused. Where are you going? What a great Borktober. I'm looking for Mary. Have you seen her? Didn't you say she died? Buddy. Oh yeah, three years ago. But I got a letter from her. Oh my she god. That makes me so mad. Special place. And that's here? Anyway, I haven't seen her. Is this your only special place? The fact that this whole game revolves around the, f the fact that James got an anonymous letter that's marked from his well, wife the hotel is two, so funny to me. The one on the lake? Like, so gullible. The Lakeview Hotel? Yeah, it's still there. So the hotel it just feels like some loser getting pranked. Place, huh? I'll bet it was. Don't get so mad. I was just joking. Anyway. And for all we know, it was his angry neighbor that sent that letter. You're coming with me? You were gonna just leave me? No, but... With all these monsters around? No, I just... I'm... All alone here. Everyone else is gone. He's got his dead wife to find. Drop it, lady. I look like Mary, don't I? You loved her, right? Huh. Or maybe you hated her. That's ridiculous. Don't be ridiculous. Yeah, tell her, James. So it's okay? Yeah, fine. And he's off. If you can keep up, lady. Come on. <laughs> just instantly, <laughs> just instantly takes off. <laughs> ah. 
My wife's legs, don't mind them. Damn it, it's not here. I was just checking. Yo, Catastrophe, how you doing? To one day, Catastrophe, and then two days. Thank you, Mouth Guard. Ugh! Get out of my mouth. Mouth Guard, I needed you. Thank you, Handyman Artist. Thank you. Whatever ending it gives me. I'll wait here. I hate bowling. I didn't come here to play, you know. Hurry back. Okay. <laughs> nice catastrophe. That five years? Really? That's insane. We need more catastrophe in-depth playthroughs. I sure as hell can't do them. So what'd you do? Robbery? Murder? I love this no, song. Nothing like that. Ha! Huh, you're just a gutless fat so Hey! What'd you have to say that for? Yeah. I thought you said the cops were out for you. No. I just ran because I was scared. I don't know what the cops are doing. But if you did something bad, why don't you just say you were sorry? Well, I guess I run away a lot too. It's no good. They wouldn't listen. Nobody will ever forgive me. I love this song. What's my favorite pizza? It's called for? Beef and Blue Cheese. Thank you, Space, for the three months. Thank you. Beef and blue cheese. I it it's a common one that's in Vancouver. Thank you, drunk goblins. Why was the pizza deleted? Yeah. Yo, Lynn. Blue cheese. Yes, guy. Ground beef on the pizza. It's, it's like pizza with cheese and stuff and then ground beef and then blue cheese dressing. It's so fucking good. The first time my brother told me to get it, I was like, oh, that sounds disgusting. And then I ate it and I was like, oh! goes ah, oh, after they eat a slice of pizza um, you're James <sighs> we met in the apartment <sighs> building. yeah I remember but uh... yeah are you alone here Eddie um, no oh really Denzel that's the works if I've ever seen it hey Get back here, you scoundrel! Wait, come back! Betty, let's go after her. Huh? Like a detective. Laura. But why? Laura. Is that her name? That's what she said. Banana pizza? This town is full of monsters. Are you Ella? Can you sit there and eat pizza? She said she was fine by herself. She said a fat so like me would just slow her down. <laughs> Wait, I thought there was an ampoule over here too. 
Look at that pin. Maybe not. Even crazy. here yeah she was too fast for me aren't you gonna go after her sure too fast for you but look at james james is a fucking beast when it comes to sprinting through there. Is there any other way? That yeah, went well with the is. game. Right through there. Thank you, Norm. The 23. Well, let's go. It's no good. It's locked. James. Yeah, that is the master of unlocking. Actual best song in the game. I think this is my favorite song in the entire game, including everything. Menu, credits. Heaven's Night. I know, that's why I hate the speedrun Tiger Stripe Bunny, because you, you go into this room and immediately you're out. <laughs> Like, you don't even get to hear the song start. Uh, thank you, Brew Dancer, for the raid. How was your stream? What were you up to? Thank you. Paradise. Paradise. Oh, hell yeah, congrats. I went to a strip club once and I was dying laughing like the whole time because we went for my friend's birthday and we just got some people to dance around him and I was fucking dying. It was the f one of the funniest thing. The only thing that wasn't funny was the $9 goddamn charge on the ATM. But that's how they get you. <sighs> Kid Infamous, banned in Eternal Enigmas channel and more, says, Dude, my GF got braced and now all my kids are behind bars. I love that feature. Over there. Brown now. now. You looking at James?
Bump dump. Do -do. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> okay. This is a story playthrough, but I don't know how to read. Different types of papers and documents, but there's nothing of interest for me. Yeah, I love this. Everything's locked. What is this, a Silent Hill game? Ugh. Ugh! Okay, these guys hit like a truck. And by guys, I mean the nurses. Poochie. Examination room key. Excuse me, lady. Move. Ow. Ah! What's wrong? I just pricked myself. Are you okay? Yeah. Ooh. Hurt my. All right, Maria, get away from that locker. Oof. I see the counter argument against Bana's voice actress. Uh, sort of, but it happened while I was streaming, so not really. Oh! 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 Alright, fun fact guys, I think I've said this every time I play the game, but I'm going to say it again. When I first played this as a kid... Oh, they said they offered a 4k per session for 4 or 5 sessions to about 100k. 4k per 4 or 5 sessions, in my opinion, is still a... I don't know what voice actors usually get, but I'm going to... I wonder what, like extreme case but i wonder what the dude that plays god of war gets but that still seems like a criminally low amount like for just to put this in perspective guys because i know streamer life some streamers get like per two hour game they're sponsored for if you have a massive stream you are literally getting $10,000 to play a game for two hours as a streamer. And for a voice actress to do a voice actor for a massive game for 4K per four to five sessions, that's a very low amount, in my opinion. Uh, I don't know, Aaron. I always forget. I think like eight years. But yeah, that's unfortunate. Like, it sucks that that turned into like some controversy now, because like even 20k is still low. But she shouldn't have said 4k. But wait, I I she released multiple videos, and probably like most people, I only watched her first one. Did she mention later on in any of the other videos she made that it was? Oh, she still says it was 4K. Oh, I see. They say it was 1K per hour. That's when people... 
that's so weird when people mention per hour for stuff like that because it's only trying to mesmerize people that don't know any better He's also a Rassets. I see. Thank you, Bobbin, for you for the 20 months. That's whatever. I, I mean, that sucks, but it's not something. Dude! Oh yeah, I didn't even tell my story. When I first got here as a kid to the hospital, who's with me? I... I had to stop playing for like a month or two because as soon as I heard the nurses, oh, and the, <laughs> the, the breathing and shit, I was out. I was so scared. I could not, I could not cope. You gotta, I, like, I was like freaking eight years old when I played this game the first time. I was scared out of my ball. My balls! Alright, what's the number? Uh, it is... 6341. I was scared out of my balls! Oh yeah, Nemesis. Every time... I actually played through Nemesis when I was a kid. But every time he showed up, I had to pause the game like this because I was so scared. Oh wait, what was the number? Oops. Oh no, that's not... That's not for this. Uh-oh. Turn around! No! I always forget where you get the code for the door, but it's probably in the examination room, because I don't think you go in the examination room in the speedrun. Thank you, Shotgun Center, for the sub. And thank you, Bobbin, for yo-yos for the 20. The pin number this month is T. Last month, it was X. Before that, it was Z. But what are they going to do next month? That's all they can express with four numbers. So are they just going to go back to Z? One, three, seven, nine? Can't be it. Maybe it's still T. One, three, five. Super sleepy tea. Pretty sure it's Z. Oops. Thank you, Contrabandito, for the four months, and thank you, Major Full of Miss, for the Prime. God, I've done the speedrun so much.
Oh wait, maybe you actually have to figure out the other letter they can use. I know the one in Silent Hill 3, but it's not it. It was T. Oh, oh, oh. What a kick. Oh. Ah. Who come up with these sound effects? By the way, respawning enemies in Silent Hill 2? Barf. Just kidding, but it's funny that this game gets away with it. Jeez. <coughs> Wait a minute. <coughs> they do play a role in your ending though, and your rank, so it makes sense. They're not just there to be there. <laughs> it's just a hangover. Yeah, she does have gamer posture. <laughs> mm. So comfy. I'm gonna go look for her. For Laura. I'll be back as soon as I can. Looking at that key. Another key where you might miss. We got it, we got it, we got it. Come here. Come here. I want to show you something. Groovy. Ah! That's it. I'm I'm fucking pissed. that sound sorry guys I'm not gonna read everything Du, 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 du. Did you guys hear? That was basically... That was basically Jingle Bells. One, four, four, two. What was the other one again? Oh yeah. <laughs> hair! There's a few hairs in there. Hey, thank you Shotgun Center, I appreciate it. Thank you.
Nice to have you here. Something written on the wall. Let's take I'll take care of you forever. It's my destiny. Something's stuck in the drainage pipe. Hole is too small, I can't get my hand inside to reach it. In the back of my mind, I am so excited for tomorrow to see what they announce. Like, I am unfortunately excited because I have hope. But at the same time, I'm thinking like, Man, I remember, I remember when Konami, I think it was 2020, um, at like the E3 online, or it was 2021, where Konami was there and they are like had a special announcement for everyone. Ended up being that garbage console that had like a couple of games on it. It was like, oh my god. So part of me feels like, part of me feels like the short message got leaked, but imagine the short message is just like some mo some like something you download on mobile and it's like 10 minutes long. And then they were like, oh, and the big news is we're going to be collaborating with more with Dead by Daylight. We're doing a PUBG thing. Uh, we're going to add James into Fortnite. Like, oh, no, 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 no. Ow! It's hard to like be optimistic about Konami. Shit! I drew a blank. What the hell am I doing? Patient wing elevator. Oh, herps. Er Oh shit, where am I going? Oh yeah, Metal Gear Survive, the, correct from wrong, the game where you have to buy extra save files with real money. Metal Gear Survive looked worse than like Umbrella Corp. And that's saying something. Thank you, Miss Fit. No, but me for the 13 months. Thank you. I love this song. It's one of the best ones in the game. told me that big fat blabbermouth how do you know about mary what's the big deal why can't you just tell me you're gonna yell at me if i don't no i won't he's done with that i was friends with mary we met at the hospital it was last year you liar! Laura, <laughs> I... Oh my god. Fine, don't believe me. But last year... People that can't keep Mary their was chill. Already... Liar! I won't yell at you. Liar! I'm sorry, Laura. Anyway, let's go. Anyway! We can talk about this later. 
This is no place for a kid. There are all sorts of strange things around here. I can't believe you haven't even gotten a scratch on you. Why should I? Wait, wait. There's something I gotta get. Later, okay? okay? But it's really important. What is it? A letter from Mary. Huh? I wanna go get it. Is that oh my God. okay? Yes. yes. Oh, oh, now he cares. Now he cares. Is it in there? <laughs> yeah, James. It's in there. Yeah, in the back. Gullible ass James. Oh my god. What a what are you loser. Doing, it's further back in the desk. Laura! What are you doing? Halloween ends. Open the door, Laura. Why should I? I'm a liar, right? Want me to open it? Just kill the kid, Jane. Huh? Huh? Do ya? What's the magic word? Laura? Okay. I guess it won't open it. I think I'll just leave you like this. You snotty little brat! Open up! Look at those. Lips. Why you you Laura? You Let's do this, James. That face was like this isn't the first time I've murdered. Number three, take cover. How much ammo do I have? You know what? Let's use this. Is that Mr. Dudley with the 81 months? Holy shit, boys. Ah, tomorrow, Dudley. We're gonna hit up the James. casino. James. James. Getting wheeled into her room. Dudley, oh, the circle slash. Dudley. What have you been playing, sir? Tell me everything. Oh, have you been playing Overwatch 2 at all? Out. I just got done watching Halloween Ends. What a strange way to end the series, but it was still better than Resurrection. That I can agree with. It was better than Resurrection. Thank you. Oh, I'll be taking those ladies. Oh, it's a transmission. Jesus.
Have you just been working a ton? Yeah, it's like all the veteran Overwatch 2 players have already adapted to the meta and it's just like... Right. It's rough giving a competitive game a sequel that's been like sort of treading water for the past few years. Because all those people that are were still there from the water tread are going to decimate everyone else. Um... Three. Oh, nice. <gasps> Oof! Oh my god. Oh, wait, I'm... Wrong floor. I picked the wrong floor. I picked the wrong floor! Oh, boy. Guys. Are any doors open? Yeah, not much, Mr. D. Mr. D. Yeah, I actually have had fun playing Overwatch 2. But, um, it certainly doesn't feel like a new game. Wonder how Overwatch 2 is for Twitch. Uh, I think it's been doing well. Well, it's doing well. So there's there's a cheat code you could put in for Twitch to get like quadruple the normal viewers you'd have. And it's called, who knows it? Who knows it in chat? Drops, that's right. First guess, stand and fire, drops. That is correct. For example, how many viewers do I have right now? Okay, 3,500. Let's say this was a new Silent Hill game. And I had 3,500 viewers, alright? And then I turned on drops. 10k, no question. 10k viewers, not a question about it. Thank you, Tap, for the gifted sub. Thank you. Thank you so much. Like you guys would be shocked. I mean, I I know too. Um, when they were doing, when I was playing Lost Ark and they were doing drops for Lost Ark, I had like four streams open at the same time. So I know what it's like, and I'm sure a lot of people did. Drops are so for an online game. I love these, by the way. It's a great idea, but I'm sort of salty that they've never ever ever happened for a game I play. Um, but people can literally create. Like bring their Twitch channel from the gutter to the sky with drop with just drops alone. Um But uh regardless, um drops are put into Twitch streams. So if you let's say a Twitch stream has drops on, if you open their stream, you will earn an item if you watch them long enough in the game, usually cosmetic. Uh so for example, in Lost Ark, the ones I sat in queue for, it gave you like a special transmog for a weapon. So, like, you could make your weapon look a, cer a certain way. And there was another one that gave you, like, a yellow horse. And that yellow horse was only available for the next two weeks, and then it's gone forever. So unless you have a Switch stream open and you're earning that drop, you will never get it again. So things like that. Why this is popular, I can explain very easily because I love shit like this in games. Limited edition stuff like FOMO stuff, fear of missing out always like sells like hotcakes it always does insanely well drops are basically like fomo for whatever game they're for so like let's say world of warcraft something i'm currently playing just because dragonflight's coming out soon they just released wrath classic so i'm playing it offline a little bit um by a little bit i mean a lot of it and if they did drops for like a mount on that game i would open up like 10 streams i would get every single drop because it's something i enjoy um, so with that being said, anyone that like loves online games like League of Legends or or Fortnite or PUBG or whatever, like Counter Strike or Valorant, if they have drops for those games for cosmetics, you bet your fucking ass the viewer count on Twitch. Is, let's say it's a thousand, it's gonna go to ten thousand. Like it skyrockets. 
What? I have no key items. Shit, I think I was supposed to grab something from the bottom floor where I was. Oh my god, I just went in the wrong room, I think. Uh, I think you just get lucky, Renny. I don't- I don't really know. God, the camera! Best horror game of all time, they say. Bullshit! But that's how mobile games get you. Like, that's what they do in mobile games. But I honestly- I love stuff like that. Not so much- I don't like stuff like that, like FOMO stuff. Like... I've won on this rant many times, but, um... Oh, wait, no. I- I was- I need to go to floor two. I like when there's certain things in video games that you can play with, like, skill or exploration or dedication, like grinding, to unlock things that are only available for a certain time. I love that kind of thing. I think that should be in every game. Um, but right now, usually FOMO stuff now is like, insert your credit card or do this insane grind. Like Pokemon Go does that all the time. Where it's like, you can get something cool if you grind it out or just put it in your credit card and you get it instantly. Doo -doo. Here we are. Dry cell battery and the basement storeroom key. That's what we wanted. Da -da. Ah! Yeah, I'll be playing Saddle 3 after this. Oh, wrong floor. Oops. Yo, Castlevania, thank you. And thank you, me, dang, and goth hero. Just for example, just to end this off so I have all my thoughts out there. There's something in Warcraft um, that I got in like 2014, the release year. It's called a Brewfest RAM, but there was two RAMs you could buy. One fast speed and one low speed. And most people didn't even bother with the low speed one, but they took the, I bought the low speed one. They took that out right after the first year the game was ever released. So now when I ride around on that, like 10 years later, I'm like, fuck yeah, look at me. Like, if you had that back in the day, everyone's like, oh, wow, look at the loser who bought that. But now, 10 years later, you, you, it's been unavailable for nine years. Everyone's like, oh, shit, he's on the roof restaurant. Like, stuff like that's sick. I, I love stuff that goes away. Yeah, the Zillamon mount, the ZG Tiger, even though it's on the black market sometimes, or the ZG Raptor as well. Um, and there's many things, all the gladiator mounts in that game. I love shit like that, where it's like um, something you do... It's just easy to take pride in stuff like that. I'm like so glad I did that because now I actually love it. Unfortunately, it's a very superficial thing, but um, it makes me happy when I have something no one else can get anymore. It's like, but it also shows like I've been playing since release day, you know? So if people see another person on that mount, they're like, yo, that guy has had the game since like day fucking one. It's like, yeah, yes, I have. I went to the wrong fucking floor again, dude! Sick! I am literally not gonna have enough healing to finish this goddamn game. And if I shoot all these nurses, I'm just gonna not have enough ammo to finish the goddamn game. Ah, <sighs> yeah, Brewfest Kodo, same thing. But that's why I used to go for gladiator mounts, in, and why I still do. I love them. I love that whole aspect. Yeah, I, I love cosmetics for crazy things in games. Like, I, I love when stuff like that is in a video game. Nowadays, usually that kind of stuff is, like, uh, attached to, like, battle passes and stuff. It's like, oh, that... It won't be like, oh, that guy did a crazy thing back when this was new. 
It'll more so be like, oh, that guy got the battle pass back in like 2016. But mo something more easily relatable, like Time Splitters 2 and Time Splitters Future Perfect, those games for like P PS2 GameCube, they had so many unlockable characters and so many unlockable modes and little things you could unlock. I would do everything in that game because I love doing stuff. Like if you get a platinum medal on this mission in Time Splitters 2, you get a character. And I'm like, fuck yeah. So I'd push myself to do that. And then, you know, your friends would come over and be like, what the fuck? You have that character? And you're like, yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Took me like two hours. James! Here it comes. Here it comes, guys. James! Mary? Oh, Maria. Uh oh. It's you. Don't say it. I thought you were. Sorry. Anyway, I'm glad you're alive. Uh oh. Anyway! What do you mean, anyway? You don't sound very happy to see me. You gotta think before you speak, there. James. Why didn't you try to save me? All you care about is that dead wife of yours. I've never been so scared in my whole life. You couldn't care less about me, could you? Anyway, let's go down that ladder. No, I just... Then stay with me. Don't ever leave me alone. You're supposed to take care of me. <laughs> so, what about Laura? Did you find her? Yeah, but she ran away. We've got to find her. Okay. God, I'm fucked. You really seem to care about her. Do you know her? I've never met her before. I just feel sorry for her. She's all alone. And for some reason, I feel like it's up to me to protect her. Anyway. You know, you gotta give, you gotta hand it to her though. At least she responds like piss, like anyway, as opposed to like, you said anyway, and then she pretends to be happy, but you can tell she's angry and all she's thinking about for the rest of the day is, I can't believe he said anyway. Oh, what's wrong, honey? Oh, nothing. And then meanwhile, she's thinking like, fuck, a guy said anyway earlier. Fuck that guy. Anyway. All right, I got to blast some of these. What? I'm out of ammo? Oh my god. Oh, never mind. I just have to sit still for eight minutes to shoot. Aim at the other one. Oh! Come on, Maria. You, you can be Maria. Oof! Okay, guys, please um, pay attention to this. Ooh. Pay attention to this trivia. You, I'm gonna need your guys' answers. I have to pee. I'm gonna pee my fucking pants. Park. Three, Lakeside Amusement Park. Okay, quick 
Lively. On to question number two. Helen Hill witnessed a gruesome murder a few years back. A brother and sister were playing in the road when they were attacked and chopped into pieces with an axe. Torn flesh, smashed bones, blood, blood, and finally, blizzard. What a terrible tragedy. What a gruesome end to such innocent lives. What was the name of the murderer who committed this vile act? One. Walter Sullivan. Walter Sullivan. Yep. Two. Scott Fairbanks. Three. Eric Gay. One. Now for our third and final question. South of the lake is a deserted old neighborhood called South Vale. From there to Pale Vale, the central resort area northwest of the lake, there's only one road you can take. Bachman Just Road. One road. No more. The third and final question is, what is the name of that road? One, Bachman Road. Two, Rindell Street. Three, Nathan Avenue. Well, that's the last of our questions. Have you got it all figured out? When you know the answers, head to the storeroom on the third floor to collect your prizes. But be careful if you're wrong. <laughs> it's Bachman Road. Well then, everybody. Hi. Thanks for tuning in. Getting mixed information. Is it 313 or 311? Ah, oh, they're getting me. They're getting me. You can't open it? Yeah. Maria, give me a hand here. Come on. You're supposed to be the big man around here. How's a little girl like me supposed to help? Wait, guys. Where is that again? Third floor? What's this? Not very cute, is it? Here, James. You take it. Mm, thanks. Mm. Mm, thanks. Yeah, this is a good one. Guys, I'm actually gonna die. This is rough. I ran around the rooms way too much, and now I have, like, no health. Now we're all good. We're all good. Boom! Oh! I was born on Bachman Road. Three. Ba ba Bachman Road. All right, we need. Come on. I know. I'm gonna get the shit ending because I'm killing all these fucks. Is this the storage room? Oh, hell yeah! Jackpot! Oh! Hog! Respawns! Okay, we can't kill any more people. We're gonna get shit ending. Come on, Maria. By the way, so, oh, this part's pretty brutal, because... This part is actually, I'm not even kidding. This time I'm not joking. This part of Solid Hill 2 hard mode, hard mode, specifically hard mode. And there's no save, is there? I don't think there is. Okay, um, for those who don't know I'm playing on hard mode, this part is fucking hard on hard mode. Like, I'm not kidding. We're- we're probably gonna die. It's already over. Most likely. 
Yo, it, we're fucked. We're fucked. Yeah, fuck, dude. What? How did that not hit him? So, if you don't shoot him there, I think twice, it's over. Great, man. I didn't even rescue her yet. Oh, wait. Did I? Oh, yeah, I did. Oh, boy. I'm not... Ugh. Bachman Road. Let's go. Come on, girly. Ugh. Hard mode movement. Oof. Can you use your pistol for that part, or do you have to use shotgun? I don't remember. All right, remake. Fuck it. Does anyone remember? No one remembers. Oh! Pistol works? Okay. I'll do that then. Well, if he says he uses it, then it must work. But yeah, this, this is easily, easily, easily the hardest part in Silent Hill 2. In, on hard mode. On normal mode, it's just like, it's, that doesn't even matter. <sighs> Thank you, Emerald Zombie, for the 28. On normal mode, you just go. It's like impossible to die there. It's not impossible, but... Your movement has to be pretty shitty <laughs> for you to die there. Yeah, the first time I did this was actually last year, I think. And I got here and I was like, nah, nah, you don't have to shoot him. I tried for optimal movement like a few times. And yeah, you have to shoot him. Oof. You need good movement and you can't like bump into walls and stuff. All right, this is never mind. Yeah, look, it's it's over. Like if your if your movement isn't crisp, movement's easy in Silent Hill too. That but so that room has like the hardest movement, but also if you mess up your movement, like even slightly, you hit a wall and that's just over. It's a brutal part, fellas. It's a brutal part. Excuse me, ladies. Coming through. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm not mental. Coxina, I know. It's Konami. <laughs> like, the odds of us getting... Like, I'll be happy if a new game gets announced. But even that is a stretch. So dumb. It's as dumb as it looks, guys. It's as dumb as it looks. I know uh, it, this is unfortunate because usually I'm like sarcastic about everything, but this is, is truly like it's 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 bad. If you play this game on hard mode, this part specifically will, might make you hate the game. I'm 
Not a good segment. No, he kills her, like, you, you have to, so, for perfect movement in this game, oh my god, you need to know the camera angle you're going to before you even get there, so you can instantly turn. So, on hard, when you run close to a wall, you, you hit it. It makes this, like, stupid. Yeah, it's really hard not to bump on anything. That's what makes this difficult. Or, well, it's not only that. You also have to, like... So when you shoot him through the gate there, the window, if you hit Maria, it's also over. You have to just hit him and you just have like, just, you'll see when I actually get it. It's just, just... God. Yeah, it's already over. I'm trying not to hit a wall. That's why I'm like having weird movement. No, you don't have to shoot him before it. You can try. I, honestly, it's it's harder if you shoot him before it. Yo, Orch, when they go on sale, buddy. I I tried to get one, but they sold out like instantly. What have you been grinding lately? Thank you, sir. You pumped for uh for Thursday? What do they do on the speed run? Well, they have good movement. Probably. Not many people run this on hard mode. Almost all Silent Hill runners run on easy mode. Or beginner, for that matter. Yeah. Yikes. There we go. Ah, oh, this should be good enough, I think. Oh yeah, I, I, I'm not optimi- like, I'm trying to be optimistic for Konami's announcement, but here, here's the thing, guys. A lot of you might be thinking like, man, back, it's Konami. I know. I fully expect them to come out tomorrow and be like, here's the update on Silent Hill. Remember those skateboards? We said they were limited edition. We're now making another batch of them. Um, about the, the uh, Pyramid Head plushie, it's going to be coming back on the store in a few weeks. Um, we know you guys have heard about that short message. Yep, that is a playable journal uh, app that you can download and read through the lore of all the Silent Hill games. And um, yeah, we are glad you're enjoying our products and we will see you in the near future. Come on, dude. Hello? The thi okay, God. The thing about shooting him in the beginning, guys, you're not understanding this. The odds of you not hitting Maria are so fucking low, it's insane. Like, you have to understand, this is not like, Oh, Bach, what if you do this? This part is just really fucking stupid. But yeah, I could shoot him early, and it might, and it could work. It's a good, it's a strat you can do. It is. But it working right now, right first try, I'm better off just trying to do what I'm already doing. But here, well, just, just to... That worked well. 
You can't- you have to do it at a corner, because if you don't, you're just gonna shoot her and she dies. Anyway, yeah, now I should just keep doing what I'm doing. Or it's just a bunch of nonsense. Anyway! Yeah, this part probably isn't even an issue in the speedrun because if you have decent movement, it's all good. Alright, let's try this. You guys ready? This is working well. Okay, can I go back to what I was doing? <laughs> Thank you. Around Oof! Like, here's here's what you have to do. Good movement. Like that? Already, already dead. You have to, like, not even... S yeah. Which is, it's tough, because it's like, remake, it's remake controls, and camera angles change instantly. So. Ekdysis runs the elevator, has- Ekdysis runs this on hard mode? Here, I'll check. I'll check if I'll check the strat for speedrun. Check the strat. Hard. See, what is the strat for the speed? Oh, the the reason the reason it works like that in the speedrun is because they glitch it out so he doesn't even spawn. Ow! Bum -ba -dum, bum -ba -dum. Thank you, Parasite Even SSX Sander for the seven months. Yeah, Orch, I hope they come back on sale soon if you're still here. Oof! I mean, we could glitch it out. I don't. Let's see. What's the save button? Oh, I see, I see. Uh, I don't actually know what to press. Wait, wait. Um, wait, I thought... I actually didn't check the full strat. I'm sorry. I don't know how to do it. 
I wonder if they fix it in this for enhanced edition version. Maybe. Still dies. That's the big meme. Game over. She died. Two seconds later. She's dead. Anyway. I hate that about the game. People tell me to play the Thing game all the time. I've played it many times. One reason I think the Thing sort of sucks, the game, like, I love the idea. And the Thing's my favorite movie ever. But if you guys aren't aware of this, in the video game The Thing, you take your... It, it's all about this trust system. Like, actually, the game revolves around your four... You have four teammates, usually. And there's a trust system of, like, trying to figure out if someone's a Thing, if they've turned into a Thing, and making sure they don't turn into the Thing. All right, but there's certain points in the game. For example, all right, let's say this is the thing. And I just gave all my teammates behind me the blood test and they're all positive, they're, they're all good, like they're negative. They did, they're not the thing. You take this one step in this one random spot, boom, they all just turn right away. It's so fucking stupid. Oh my, it makes me so mad. They had such a good idea and just threw it away. It's so ridiculously dumb. And it's not at parts that you think like like you're about to do something the NPC can't do. It's just like really random spots, like just this absolute random area. All right, he who is not bold enough to be stared at from across the abyss is not bold enough to stare into it himself. The truth can only be learned by marching forward. Follow the map. There's a letter and a wrench. Okay. Thank you again, Paris Eve. The Silent Hill Historical Society. But um. Hey! Skeeter! Maria's dead. I couldn't protect her. And Laura has run off somewhere. Once again, I couldn't do anything to help. Mary, what should I do? Mm-hmm. Let's go! La la let's go, la 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 let's go, la la let's go, ho. Mm If you don't explore a lot in this section to look for, like, items, um, the final segment of this game can also be very challenging. When you fight the pyramid head and the actual last boss, you can get to it and not have enough ammo, and it's brutal. So as long as you do a little bit of exploring here, find some stuff, if I find anything.
Oh yeah, if you actually fully explore, <laughs> there's so much shit. As we find nothing, weirdly enough. I'm like roaming around the one dead zone. Oh, really geeky. Uh, one sec. Let's check over this way. That's the way to go right there. Aha! Double whammy right on top of one another. Let's go this way again. Oh wait, oh my god, I got all turned around. Where the hell? Is it this way? I don't think it is this way, but... Oh, nice! We found this. Oh, you can't get in this one. Oh, rifle shells. A rifle. Oh my god, look at all the stuff. <laughs> Alright, let's go back. Clearly I chose the wrong side to explore the first time. Yeah, rifle shells and shotgun bullets, exactly. Hey, the poppin'! What was that? I have- I don't think I've ever seen that in Silent Hill 2. What was that? Shit. You see that poppin'? That was baloney. This is the way, I think. By the way, I honestly do think this game could get a really good remake and be just as good or better, like RE2 Remake style, but Silent Hill 2. But the odds of that happening are... It's gonna be harder than RE4 Remake, I think. And it's Konami as well, so... Oh, the Hyper Spray! Look! Bump, bump, bump. You start playing Silent Hill for the first time, how much time do you think it'll cost you to finish it? Oh, it's like a... It's like a, um... 8 to 10 hour game. It, it honestly, the thing that's gonna take you the most time... If you, let's say you play on hard riddles, some of the puzzles might take you very long. It just, just it's like eight to twelve hours, and those that the to twelve part is how long do the puzzles take you? And it honestly, like how long do you explore Silent Hill as well? Like this, like Silent Hill, like what we're doing right now. You can explore this place to the fucking cows come home, or you can run from point A to point B. Uh, 
Oh. Oh, damn. Well, thanks. Oh! Wait here, guys. I'll be right back. Wait here. Okay. Okay, I, I brought up the same sleeve again. Wait. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my goodness. And wait. It's still for sale, I think. It's silent. It's Konami merch. I gave money to Konami. At least. You know what's funny? Konami is so good at merch with their dead franchises, and Capcom fucking sucks at merch with their living franchise. Capcom puts so much time and effort into like awesome DMC merch and doesn't give a flying fuck about Resident Evil. Well, there is a, there is good RE merch like the statues and stuff, but they're thousands of dollars. So, I just wish Capcom. So, the coolest stuff I have from from Resident Evil was sent to me in like 2017. By the, uh, by one of the community managers. She sent me like a box of a bunch of Resident Evil stuff. And it was the coolest shit I've ever seen. Like for Resident Evil. And none of it you can find online. And it's just like, why? Why is the cool stuff not for sale? Like why is the, it's a bunch of shit. There are so many cool Resident Evil things, but they don't sell them. Konami, on the other hand, is like, oh yeah, you know that franchise I haven't made a game for in 10 years? Here, have a sweater, have a have like eight plushies, have a bunch of different t-shirts, have some jackets. Like, hello? Um, what was the stuff? It was so I got a Resident Evil 4 mouse pad. Which is sick. Um, my favorite thing they sent me is just like it's a bloody, it's a black and red bloody shirt that just says Resident Evil on it, but the let the it has raised lettering. It's so sick. Wait. Uh oh, I don't know if this is actually the way yet. Because we didn't get the wrench. Wait, was I supposed to already get the wrench? I think I I think I was supposed to already get the wrench. I gotta go back. Oh wait, yeah I was. I'm not saying there's absolutely no cool RE merch. There there obviously is. But man, they 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 could release more stuff. Like you guys should search up DMC merch. There's so many things, like it's endless. And for RE there's not much. I have to give myself some stamina back. Brutal, bruh. Cafe missed. 
the medium's okay. It's not a game I loved, but a lot of people seem to enjoy it. The medium is a game I, I will definitely never play again. Here we go. Doing up there. Must be the other way. I got turned around. Oh no, it's on the other side. Oh, I see. But um. Yeah, bucket. I agree. Like I had, f like, I don't know. Fun is a stretch. I thought the medium was okay on my first playthrough, but like Bucket said, I, I would never play it again. Oh my god, I'd be bored out of my skull. Yeah, Belmore, I agree. I, I, I wish there was... God, I don't remember where to go. Big J's. Is it straight? Oh no, it's this way. It's by Blue Creek Apartment. Oh no, it was straight actually. Like, I, I like to compare the medium, or I'd like to right now make a formal statement. Um, Block Tower 3 has no combat until you get to boss fights. And I fucking love the boss fights. They're really fun in my opinion because they're, you if you really know what you're doing, you can destroy bosses and it's just satisfying. And while you're playing Clock Tower 3, there are many ways to defend yourself. And many ways to stun the things that are after you and stuff. In the medium, it's just like you're just running. It's just boring. Like, give me some gameplay elements. What do I ex what do I expect for tomorrow? Them to announce a Silent Hill video game. That's bare minimum. What's so weird is like, why haven't they, oh, we can't go in. Why are they choosing to do this presentation with a tweet on a random ass day? You know? Like, no planning went into it. Like, we have all these gaming events that happen. Like, oh, it's not... We have something to show you, but it's not ready yet. It's not ready yet. It's not ready yet. And then they just wake up one day. All right. Tweet it out, guys. It's ready. Like, okay. I do not want remasters. This, we're, we are playing a fan-made remaster of Silent Hill 2 and it's fucking god tier. If they remastered this game, let's say they remastered Silent Hill 2, it would not even be close to this game. Not even close. Like, the amount of effort that went in from the modders team. I know for a lot of people it's hard to believe that, like, fans do a better job than, um, a company. And I hate that shit. When someone is like, when a new game comes out and people are like, oh, oh, you don't like there's no skins in RE3 Remake? Just use mods. There's plenty of... How about they take the fucking skins from Project Resistance and just literally port them or take a goddamn day? But no. Anyways, I digress. Uh, th There's no way Konami would make a better remaster than what I'm playing right now. No way. Like, it's out of the question. There's... The only way they could is if they were equal to this. 
This mod went above and beyond. I'm playing something called the Enhanced Edition of Silent Hill 2, which is constantly being updated, by the way. Since I last played in, like, um, July or whenever it was, it's got, like, four updates. They are constantly working on this, and it's, like, they, okay, wait. They released, for those who don't know, they already released a Silent Hill 2 remaster, and they already released a Silent Hill 3 remaster. And guess why not many people know that? Because they're fucking horrid. They are so bad. Not only are they not remastered, like, they look like shit, they sound like shit, and they're glitchy as all hell. I do not want a remaster from Konami. I mean, I would, I would, like you, I would love a remaster, assuming they did it right, but they wouldn't do it right. They would just give us some garbage. Again. I think best case scenario is they got a bunch of people back from Team Silent and uh, Akira, what the, I forget, I always forget how to pronounce his name. I always forget his last name, Yamoka or whatever it is. Um, to do the sounds and but then again, listen, I love Akira Yamoka, okay? But I talked about this earlier with George A. Romero. I hate saying this. But him being on the project doesn't give me much faith anymore. Because he did the soundtrack for the medium and I can't even remember one song off that game. Uh-oh. But, for example... Oh, he just did one song. Okay. I just... it. It doesn't give me pleasure knowing that someone that was really good at something 20 years ago is now working on something. I don't know what he does now. Maybe he maybe he still works on stuff and does really cool things. But I know when George A. Romero came back to do more zombie movies, those who don't know, he did a movie called uh, Diary of the Dead and um, Land or not Land of the Dead, Diary of the Dead. And what was the other one? What was the other one? So the guy who made the two best survival of the dead, that's it. The guy who made the two best zombie movies ever, Dawn and Day of the Dead, like easily top five zombie movies ever. And Dawn of the Dead is like top 10 horror movies ever. He came back and he made Diary of the Dead and Survival of the Dead. In my opinion, they were fucking horrid. They were so bad. But the legend is back. The legend is back making movies. Yada, yada, yada. It's cool. It'd be cool if they were on the project, but I like to see results instead of big names. You know what I mean? But, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know anything about Akira other than he did the soundtrack to Silent Hill. But I hope if he's on, I hope it's good. It's rumored that he's doing the music for a new one. Yo, Maxi, I didn't get to see what you said. Did you paste it again? He made Night, Dawn, and Day? Wait, did he not make Survival and Diary? Am I an actual idiot? And I've mentioned this a million times on stream and... Oh, okay. Oof! I actually thought Land of the Dead was okay. With John Leguizamo, by the way. Ugh. Oh, the hole's dark and I can't see anything. Yeah, Max, I wasn't a fan of the game either. And by the way, that, that holds true for me too. And I could tell you with experience, the past, when I used to cook all the time, like I could still cook, I'm still a chef, yada yada, yada. I could still make a mean, mean meal. But man, I haven't been doing that shit for 
It's almost nine years now since I last worked a chef job. So am I like the old people I used to cater for? If they asked me to cater right now, <laughs> I would not be nearly as good as I was. Because like, okay, I'll cater for you, lady, but... But, uh, you know. Like, I still have the skill, but what I'm saying is, like, you need a heavy D-Rust. Like, okay, I'll cater your event, but let me do a month of solid, like, not stream anymore. I'm going to cook all my own meals, three meals a day, make my own recipes for each one, and try and blow the previous one out of the water for 30 days straight, and then I'll cater your dinner. So for people that are like coming out of the woodwork, I don't know about, this isn't particularly about Akira, by the way. I don't know what he does now, but when you always hear like this big name is coming back, like, oh, these actors are coming back to repraise their roles in a sequel. We had a lot of those like Clerks 3 and Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure or New Adventure or whatever. And um, yada, 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 stuff like that, where they'll pull an actor that was like amazing 20 years ago back from the dead and um, or you know, figure of speech. Um, and then they come back and they're terrible. It's like, what a surprise. Someone that hasn't done something for 20 years can't do it anymore. Not shocking. Wait, what? Oh my god, on hard mode, do they not give you the third number? <laughs> That's brutal! Wait, are you kidding me? Or did it bug out? Or is it... Oh, wait, maybe it's... Maybe it's... No, it's gotta be this. Thank you, God. Oh my god, I've never seen that before. I know that's like heavy RNG, but I didn't know it could just be two. Thank god. I was so... Like, my brain is like... I would have remembered this if last time we played hard puzzles. Yeah, Hustle Wombat. For sure. So, moral of the story, no matter what they do with the Silent Hill franchise, we're fucking doomed, guys. Killing a person ain't no big deal. Just put the gun to their head, pow. Abby. You... You killed him? But, but, but it wasn't my fault. He, he made me do it. Calm down, Eddie. Tell me what happened. That guy, he, he had it coming. I didn't do anything. He just came after me. Besides, he was making fun of me with his eyes, like that other one. Just for that, you killed him? What do you mean, just for that? Eddie. You can't just kill someone because of the way they looked at you. Oh yeah? Why not? Till now I always let people walk all over me. Just like that stupid dog. Oliver. He had it coming too. Eddie. <laughs> I was just joking, James. He was dead when I got here. Honest. Anyway. He was I not. You're going out there alone? Yeah. Yeah. Eddie? Yeah, he is. No, I'm... I, I do think we could get a good Silent Hill game. But all I mean is if they were like, we got Team Silent back, and we got the Dream Team back. That might make me worry more, honestly. Uh 
Uh oh. Ugh. My God, he knows. Are they 80 to 90 years old? How old were was Team Silent for the most part um, when they made these games? I assume they were like 20 to 30. Huh. Oh, I gotta, I gotta sort of step on it. The lead dev was in his nine. No way. That's bullshit. <laughs> okay, guys, we're going to call him James. Any objections? <laughs> Everyone objects, but he can't hear. No, no, we gotta call him Steven. Everyone agreed on Steven. Okay, no objections. It's James, it is. Sir. God damn it. Hey, this guy's a tank. Uh -uh. Oh my god, someone commented on my one of my videos on the VODs channel a couple of days ago and was like, this is why I don't watch you on Twitch, because uh, the chat is full of Zoomers that just don't can't appreciate classics. Like, you... are you... oh my god, it's full of Zoomers. Yeah, this chat's full of Zoomers, yeah. Got us. Totally not like everyone here is 30 to 40 on average. It's definitely a bunch of 16 year olds watching games from the early 90s. But regardless, like when they say Zoomers, they mean that my most of my audience is like under 19. When in reality, that's like a very small portion, probably like 10% or less. Just thinking like, are you? Heck yourself, bro! The fuck you talking about? Ritual. My churro. My churro. My churro. He wants it. I thought this part was so scary when I was a kid. Does Twitch give age analytics? No, I don't think so. Get dude! YouTube does though. I can search up my YouTube ones. One sec, I will. <clears throat> Ritual. My churro. Or is he saying Rick Roll? Never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down. All right, top demographics on YouTube. United States, 44%. UK, nine. Germany, four. Canada, three. Brazil, three. 
Alright, age. 25 to 34 is 55%. 33 to 44 is 15. 18 to 24 is 25. And 13 to 17 is 0 0.6. Female, 99.9%, as expected. Male, 0.01%. Well, th and the reason why, on YouTube specifically, 13 to 17 years of age is like 0.6% of my audience, is because YouTube just won't push horror games on that audience. anymore I think they used to like with Markiplier and like PewDiePie and like Cory X Kench and stuff but nowadays they don't they won't like push new young viewers to a new horror channel for the most part my true Tablet of the Oppressor. God, that that's such a this is such a good little room here. I love this room. One of my favorite rooms at Silent Hill. Um, because it's just terrifying. But one other thing I like is like when you grab this thing and you try and leave, the door is locked. So if you don't keep trying the door, you're gonna look around and like, what do I do? What do I do? But in reality, you what you have to do is just press the door three times and then it lets you out. It's such a good meme. I love it. All right, it's such a good... It's such a good... Got him. What do I do? I love that creature. That invisible creature we never get to meet. And this is another one of my favorite rooms in the entire franchise. This room scared the shit out of me when I was a kid. Because... You think there's like a bull around here somewhere, but you can't see all the edges of the room. So you think there's an enemy in here with you. It's fucking so good. This is one of the best rooms. I love it. The seductress, gluttonous pig, and the oppressor. Ah! He's sad, bull. I know, when I first played this as a kid, I like, I was scared stiff. I didn't know what to do. And I kept asking my brother, like, are you sure there's nothing in here? He's like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> tell me. Ritual. I forget where this exit is. Not this way. I also really like this little, this part of, like, I think this is really clever. Wherever the hell it is, I can't remember it. I think it's actually on the other side. Oh yeah, no map. It is. Damn it, dude. I watched her brother play. That's why, what, like, people are so confused why, oh, why do you watch people play games? How's that fun? I've been doing that since I was like four years old. I used to sit in my, in my brother's rooms and watch them play games all the time. That was like one of my biggest forms of entertainment when I was a kid. 
And it's Twitch is just like that. Um, I love this though. I, I love this. Like, how do you get this open? It has no handle. This would not work, by the way, but I still love that. Like, Mansaddle 2 is some really unique puzzles and really, some really cool rooms. Even though this part is sort of forgettable, I think it is some of the most memorable sections, like coming down the long staircase with the with the siren getting increasingly louder, jumping down the holes and not knowing what's down there, coming into the room with the what you think is a horse running around, this little nifty melt melt the wax with the lighter and put the horseshoe in for the handle. Love that the whole aspect of this area is so cool, but it's one of those areas in a normal horror game that it's just like some dingy like basement cellar thing. It's one of those areas like a sewer, you know, it's just a write off like no one cares about it, but they did a really fucking good job with this environment. No, I didn't, Falcon. Roll on the floor and I can't see the bottom. Go! Another hole, eh? A descent into madness. That's right, Cerves. Halloween ends. What a movie. Uh, some people like Halloween ends, uh, like... I just... I, I'm sort of biased. I, I don't like talking about because I'm, I'm sort of biased with Halloween ends. I watch it with five other people, all of which are, li are writers, because my brother's a writer and he's friends with all writers. And, um, they all hate it. They were shitting on the movie the whole time we were watching it. Like, they were mostly just laughing at the movie the entire time. Yo, Ecdysis! So, oh, Ecdysis, I was watching your run of hard mode earlier, um, to see what the speedrun does in the section with, um, where you have to defend Maria from, like, stabby Pyramid Head. How do you, do you just open up your map with the light off and spam save and it doesn't spawn the extra guy? I see. I tried to do it a couple times and I just gave up. I was like, I don't know what to do. So I was just like, whatever, we'll just continue onward. <laughs> and the reason I brought it up though, Dice, is because someone was like, I was like, man, this is hard. Uh, you have to shoot Pyramid Head. And someone in chat was like, oh, I've watched Dice. He just runs. You got to have good movement. And I was like, are you kidding me? So I looked, I'm like, oh, no wonder. You, like, basically despawn him. Oof! All right. Ugh. Thank you, Solid Fat, for the nine months. You're alive! Maria, I thought that thing killed you. James, honey. Are you hurt bad? Not at all, silly. 
Maria? That thing, it stabbed you. There was blood everywhere. Stabbed me? What do you mean? It chased us to the elevator, and James, then... James, what are you talking about? Just before. Don't you remember? <laughs> James. James, honey, did something happen to you? After we got separated in that long hallway? Are you confusing me with someone else? Just before. <sighs> you were always so forgetful. Remember that time in the hotel? Maria? You said you took everything. But you forgot that videotape we made. Uh-oh. I wonder if it's still there. How do you know about that? Aren't you Maria? I'm not your Mary. Oh. So, you're Maria? I am. If you want me to be. Stop oh, hurting his brain. Answer. It doesn't matter who I am. I'm here for you, James. See? I'm real. Don't believe her, James. Don't you want to touch me? I... don't know. Come and get me. I can't do anything through these bars. Okay. Stay right there. I'll be there <laughs> soon. God, I love James' voice actor. Okay. There's always something interesting happening in Silent Hill 2. Who did that? Well, we gotta go get the knife. Imagine playing through this game without the knife. Now that's what I'm talking about. I love that you can get this. It blows my mind. James is all of a sudden guts from Berserk. What if in the remake, that's definitely coming tomorrow. James just carries the sword like a boss. And you can swing it around like it's Dark Souls. DMC combos. Now that's what I'm talking about. Thank you, Skits, for the 20 months. Thank you.
Oh my god, we have 110? What the fuck? I didn't realize we picked up that much ammo. I guess we did pick up, like, freaking almost 20 cases. I was just not even paying attention. <laughs> Go through the rest of the game with this shit. Uh, wait, how much heals? How many heals do I have? Huh. Hell yeah, dude. Can I get bad ending? Nah. We're good. We don't need ammo. Oof, ladies. Checking hard disk. Yeah, I'm playing the enhanced edition. Oh, wait, can you not... Can you act... Did Enhanced Edition fix this stuff? I think it did. Yeah, you can't skip this boss with Enhanced Edition. At least the new newest update. No, it's not darker. That's... that's the... that's Twitch. If anything, it's brighter. Uh oh. Come here, skeet. Can't save. The song is a banger. Oh! He's gotta almost be dead. Yeah, this boss is fucking disgusting. Like the broom and the boss. Are you okay? trying to order you so what do you want then oh i see you're trying to be nice to me right right i know what you're up to it's always the same you're only after one thing no that's not true at all you don't have to lie go ahead and say it names is different than all the other guys force me beat me up like he always did 
anyway. You disgusting pig. You make her sick, James. Angela. Don't touch me! You make me sick! You said your wife Mary was dead, right? Right? Yes. She was ill. Liar! I know about you. You didn't want her around anymore. You probably found someone else. <sighs> That's ridiculous. I never... Oh yeah, Maxie, I can't wait. I, I, like, people go on, and I've said the same, about how hard RE4 Remake is going to be. Because you're remaking a game that revolutionized the genre, and you're remaking one of the best games ever made that's also aged well. So it's like, you're really, like, good luck. I, and I believe in Capcom, I think they can do it. But Silent Hill 2, though? <sighs> Actually, good fucking luck. Like... This game, Resident Evil 4, as long as you have some good one-liners and you keep all the memorable parts and the gameplay is fucking solid, you're gonna have an amazing game. This game, not, not at all. You gotta have some damn good writing for this game. Damn good soundtrack and atmosphere. Really, really, like, thoughtful puzzles. Good luck. I do not wish to die, but tomorrow I will climb the 13 steps. Please, someone answer me. Why must I die come the morning? The man in prison beside me believed me. Because they're all insane, that's why, he said. Of course I know his opinion will change nothing, but now you know why I struck out at them, he muttered. The man who was executed yesterday, the one who had said his job was to sell dreams, said that was not true. But the man who is to be executed the day after tomorrow for stealing children shouted back that it was true. The man who was hanged today did not answer. They'll kill me either way, he said. He was caught embezzling public money, so he hasn't had any hope for mercy. The man who was always quietly smiling to himself said, I am happy, for I will soon be with her. I do not wish to die. I long only to return home, but I know it is not meant to be. Not to be. Though I have done nothing, this crime has been thrust upon me. Someone save me. This is not my... This is not judgment. They are bloodthirsty. And I am their sacrificial lamb. All right, we got to find the innocent person, right, guys? We got to find the innocent person, the most innocent person. Only the sinless one can help you here. Mistakenly pull on a criminal's rope and your reward will be returned to you in shape most wondrously strange. So who's the innocent one? Counterfeit. Kidnapping, yeah. Embezzlement, yeah. Swindling. Well, bodily injury. Murder. Who do you guys think it is? Swindling? Bodily injury. What's swindling? Chat? What is swindling? What's embezzlement? Thank you, Lucid Necromancy. I didn't know swindling was a crime. Me and my friends always say we got swindled.
You guys! Bodily injury, chat says. Da jail. Or dead? Dead. Swindling. Would it be counterfeiting? Oh! Oh! Can't be counterfeiting. Counterfeit. I, dude, if it is actually, I I forget what it is. I think it could be counterfeiting, but at the same time, it's like. That's a pretty serious crime. Guess so. This is not the right way. Oops. Help! Oh. <sighs> oh my god, we're seven and a half hours in. I need to step on it for Silent Hill 3. Step on it! Go, James. Coming! I'm gonna order some food though, because I can't have another shake and I don't have anything else on that can't be cooked. Maria? Maria, no! Oh. What happened to you? Maria! Now she's all fucked up. Mary. I'm coming.
and a corpse can't laugh. God, that's true. Eddie! Eddie? What are you doing? What are what does you- What it look like? You always busted my balls. You fat, disgusting piece of shit. You make me sick. Fat ass, you're nothing but a waste of skin. You're so ugly, even your mama don't love you. Oh my- <laughs> Maybe he was right. Maybe I am nothing but a fat, disgusting piece of shit. But you know what? It doesn't matter if you're smart, dumb, ugly, pretty. It's all the same once you're dead. It can't be true. And a corpse can't laugh. Oh my god. From now on, if anyone makes fun of me, I'll kill him. Just like that. Eddie. Eddie. Have you gone nuts? Oh no, James. I knew it. You too. You're just like him, James. Hey, I didn't mean anything. Don't bother. I understand. You've been laughing at me all along, haven't you? Ever since we first met. I'll kill you, James. Ugh. No! What are you doing to- Oh! Oh! James, 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 James! No, why are you checking your map? Oh! God, it does so much damage. Picked on, spit on. Just because of the way you look, after you've been laughed at your whole friggin' life. That's why I ran away after I killed the dog. Ran away like a scared little girl. Yeah, I killed that dog. It was fun. It tried to chew its own guts up. Finally died all curled up in a ball. Then he came after me. I shot him too, right in the leg. He cried more than the dog. <laughs> He's gonna have a hard time playing football on what's left of that knee. You think it's okay? Oh, for people? the football room that Eddie was beside. Party. Party. No, you he's so good. The dodge. Oh. No, don't. Fuck, he's he's good. Real good. Yep, he knows. He's got the strats. He's got the strats. Oh! Oof. When James is the chainsaw, you better fucking run, bro. Hit scan. Off. <laughs> oh. 
All right, I gotta stop fucking around. We are actually gonna run out of heals like a dumbass. This is actually such a, like, okay. Listen, I think this is one of the best horror games ever made easily. But I do find it funny that like, I, in my heart of hearts, I believe that people saying it is, Eddie? is nostalgia. It's like this fight's so dumb. I killed a, a human being. A human being. Oh, it's not my favorite Silent Hill is three. Mary. Did you really die three years ago? No, well, no, I'm not just saying it's funny. I'm not saying anything beyond that. I just find it like there's a whole fucking conversation you could have about this exact boss fight. Like how in modern day gaming, you could have a couple things wrong with like optimization, which truly didn't matter back in these days. And the game is fucking garbage. But you can have a boss fight like this and a couple other things that are really janky in this game as well that we've touched upon earlier. And it can be hailed as the best game ever made, the best horror game ever made, the best psychological horror game ever made, the best Silent Hill ever made, whatever, whatever, whatever. But the best game ever made, even though there's a lot of really stupid parts that are really janky and have aged badly or whatever else. It's just a funny thing to think about. That like people are so critical of like New things having one fault, but an old game could be like janky as all hell and it's the best game ever made. Which, by the way, I'm being devil's advocate here, I think this is one of the best games ever made already. I'm just saying it's... Opinions are funny. Remake's gonna fix it, yeah. The remake will fix that anyway. That fight will be a lot cooler. <laughs> Don't worry. Same with this boat. Well, I'm I'm aware Juan makes it Matrix, but at the same time, to just talk about that point, it's about the story. Gameplay isn't the point here. I'm okay. So how about Scorn? The gameplay fucking sucks in Scorn, but everything everyone wanted is there. All that grotesque shit that people wanted that they bought the game for, the visuals, that's all great. But is Scorn was Scorn hailed as a great game? No, the internet tore it to fucking shreds, even though it was exactly what it said it was gonna be. You know what I mean? Whoa! Curtis is perfect. Alright, let's do this. As long as I don't get rid of max boat speed in the remake for Silent Hill 2, I'm happy. Guys, I need to order some pizza. It's the only place open. What do I think makes a game a 10 out of 10? I think? Everything. Gameplay, story, sound design, acting, writing, setting, consistency. I don't know what kind. Well, if you're going to use that, it's like playing Super Mario Bros. in the story. You play it for the platforming. Just like you play Silent Hill to get scared. It's a horror game, so therefore you play it to get scared. The story doesn't matter. So, in that... With that logic, this isn't that good of a game if you play it for the story. Because it's not supposed to be about the story. Since it's not a story game. Just like if Mario had a god tier story, but subpar platforming. Ouch. 
Uh, thank you, Slim Savage. Ooh. Place hasn't changed at all in three years. I hope we can keep this on the screen. Ah, we can't. Damn it. Battle 2 got a 7.9 out of 10 on GameSpot? Really? Was that the HD remaster or the original? That's crazy. I'm making an argument for the sake of making an argument. Well, and just... Um... I find all these different opinions funny, but it's it's fun to have a conversation about this game in that aspect, being devil's advocate about, like, there are bad parts in this game. Why it's fun is because there are people, like Resident Evil, and like me with, like, Resident Evil 2 or Resident Evil 3, that'll defend it to the bitter end, even if you make factual points to bad anything within those games. I need to order some pizza. One second. Thank you, Bomber Blur, for the 13 months. The place is closed. They changed their hours. One sec. A lot of the best, like, horror, for example, The Thing, when it came out, The Thing is one of the best horror movies ever made. But when it came out, it wasn't received very well. But nowadays, people look back on it, you know, very fondly. Just ordering some f some food real quick, guys. I should have did this earlier when I um. Doing it. Sorry, guys. Please don't hate me. All right. But yeah, just to stop being a shitter for those who don't understand, I I love this game. I think it's fuck god tier, bro.
All right. I did it. I ordered it. Let's do this. I'd, let's do this. Who wanted what, sorry? I got a pizza with onions, mushroom, extra cheese, uh, tea, pepperoni. I actually forget what I put on there already, because I so don't care about pizza toppings. It blows your, it'll blow your mind. One meat and all you. veggies is usually how yeah. I go. Just so it's relatively healthy. Wait, that's a thing? You're here to find Mary, aren't you, James? Oh, yeah. Well, have you? Oh. No. Is that why you're here, too? This song is great. She's here, isn't she? If you know where she is, tell me. I'm tired of walking. I wish I knew. But she said it in her letter. What letter? The letter! Thank you, Motion. But don't tell Rachel, okay? Who's Rachel? She was our nurse. <laughs> I took her from the locker. Oh, James. Who's Rachel? My dearest Laura, I'm leaving this letter with Rachel to give to you after I'm gone. I'm far away now in a quiet, beautiful place. Please forgive me for not saying goodbye before I left. Be well, Laura. Don't be too hard on the sisters. And Laura, about James. I know you hate him because you think he isn't nice to me, but please give him a chance. It's true he may be a little Shirley sometimes, and he doesn't laugh much, but underneath he's a really sweet person. Laura, I love you like my very own daughter. If things have worked out differently, I was hoping to adopt you. Happy 8th birthday. Your friend forever, Mary. Oh, no. Laura, how old are you? Um, I turned 8 last week. Uh-oh. So, Mary couldn't have died three years ago. Could, could she really be here? Is this the quiet, beautiful place she was talking about? Me and Mary talked a lot about Silent Hill. She even showed me all her pictures. She really wanted to come back. That's why I'm here. Maybe you'll get it if you see the other letter. The one Mary- Oh no. Huh? I must have dropped it. Laura. Laura. I gotta find it. Laura. Laura. Back here. Oh no, not these little shits. They're big shits, actually. Laura. God. There are no keys in the key box. Bullshit, James. Ooh. Oh yeah, I did. Fishkey? Fishkey. Whoa, I'm low health. I shouldn't have messed around that fight so much. 204. We have a lot of shotgun shells though. Two oh four. I'm killing these little poopers. Last time I played this, I messed around really hard here and wanted to kill these guys with the chainsaw, and I used like 20 heals trying to do it. Wait. 
Oh, did I go the wrong way? Because the chainsaw just doesn't have enough wind up time. Double kill. And that's all it took. Uh-oh. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Game saved. Hopefully you don't pull an alone in the dark and save during the game over screen. And then every time you load, you have game over. Uh, can you stop aiming, please? <gasps> I hate that! Got him. Got him, dude. Alright, guys. Place your bets. What's it gonna be? So this is RNG. We could go get the thing, but it's more fun to guess it. Alright. Place your bets. If you get it right, I'll gift you a sub. So this is a 1 in 19 chance, by the way. It's heavy RNG. Wasn't love. Wait, wait, that can't work because... No, first person to guess the right one. Okay. I'm just going to get five subs if anyone gets it. Ah, fuck. If someone's going to get it. Well, you know what? I am actually getting a bit sick. I'm not feeling very well. I'm going to stop after we open this. Oh man, I'm waiting for that click. I'm waiting for that click. I'm not serious. Can it be door? I think it could be door. Look guys, it's like Wordle. Oh, we're getting bad luck here. Uh, kill one of the other K's. You can link the list, yeah. No, I haven't tried that. I don't think. Dark down. Down. Help. Damn it. Luck. 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 Mama. Mama missed. 
Null. Missed. Town. Bad luck, guys. Okay, uh, what did we not do? We do down, lock, lose. Oh my god. Oh my god. I have bad luck with this one all the time. Not dust. Wait, what have we not tried? Is it literally gonna be the last one? Did we try dust? I don't think we tried dust. Oh my god. Luck. We haven't tried luck. Ironically. Oh my I was so expecting it to be like boop. No, I know. It's more fun to do the to do the guessing. Time over. Did we try over? I don't think we tried over. Oh, guys, see this? This is better content. All right, get your hearts ready. Oh, was that the last one? So you're supposed to put a uh, paint there on this. Well, that would have been a reset. But you skip it with glitches now, I think. It's over. Oh, damn it! Wait allowance one person? Oh, yeah, you even have to ditch your flashlight. You can actually keep Mary's letter, I think. You can keep something. I can't remember what it was. I will gift some subs. Don't worry, guys. I can't do the I will gift the X or Y. I will never find out. Um, I will gift some. Don't worry. Unless a bunch of people in chat seen who is the first person to say, uh, done, or, uh, close, or over, sorry. Do do. Portion? Alright, I'll give him a sub later. Portion one? Yeah, we're here. Guys, late and long streamer Bakwa Soup here. To save everyone's night. Oh! Glitch! But um. I couldn't save Brandon yesterday. Wait, what's this real name? Does anyone know? I thought it was, isn't it Brandon? Maybe it's now, it's it's not Brandon. I can't remember what it is. Oh, it's Chris, it's Chris, it's Chris! I wish it was Curtis. The light bulbs in the can with the can opener. Classic Silent Hill 2. Nice hitbox. Oh, 
My opinion is too long to share on Silent Hill 4. God, I'm so ready to dance to this song. Alright, guys. Shit, I just fell into nothing. Who was the first person, though? Still. The shameful greed did stain her shoe with blood. We know that. Which one's that, guys? That is Snow White. Even so, I still want to believe she was happy. That is the Little Mermaid. With a blessing and a curse. That was Little Mermaid. One sec, one second. Someone knocked on my door. What did I miss while I was gone? Anything? James. I'm going to turn my webcam off because I always cry. Are you taping again? Come on. <sighs> I don't know why, but I just love it here. It's so peaceful. You know what I heard? I'm this going whole best ending. Area used to be a sacred place. I think I can see why. <sighs> it's too bad we have to leave. Please promise you'll take me again, James. <laughs>
Mary. So there you are, James. Did you get the letter? Did you find Mary? If not, let's get going already, okay? Because she was sick? No. I killed her. Thank you, False. I'm sorry. The Mary you know isn't here. I will play Silent Hill 3. Coming, honey. I'm coming, honey. <clears throat> honey, I'm coming. Oh, my God, James, not, he's not. Go, oh, James. It wasn't the right door. James is coming and he has pizza. Why do you keep crashing into nothing, buddy? Heath wins, then. Heath wins. Flawless victory. How can I just sit here and eat pizza? Thank you, False Ascension in Motion. Thank you. Mm. You fat, disgusting piece of shit. 
You're so fat, even your mama don't love you. That's what people are thinking right now. Just like people were thinking about... Uh... Eddie. <clears throat> oh, Sequisha, it is so good, sir. Thank you. I hope you're doing very well. A god tier streamer, Mr. Sequisha. Bruh. Now you're the only one left. Maybe then. Maybe then I can rest. This song is awesome. Mama, why are you running away? <gasps> you're not my mama. It's it's you. Oh. I I'm sorry. Angela, no. Thank you for saving me. But I wish you hadn't. Even Mama said it. I deserved what happened. No, Angela, that's wrong. No, don't pity me. That's fucked up. I'm not worth it. Or maybe you think you can save me. I know. Will you love me? Take care of me? Heal all my pain? That's what I thought. James. Give me back that knife. No. I... I won't. Saving it for yourself? Me? No, I'd never kill myself. He kills his wife, though. <laughs> and yeah, and also himself, What's depending on hell in here. You see it too. For me, it's always like this. Poor Angela. <clears throat> Definitely has the most brutal story. Man, I can't wait for Bloober team to um make this 10 times better. Why brutal story? So, the boss fight you had with her, the correct me if I'm wrong. We're going to use some hard R's here. Ready? Uh <clears throat> the the bed frame boss is supposed to represent her being raped by her father, correct me if I'm wrong. And the um the pulsating walls is supposed to represent that exact thing. Mm. I forget what the fire is about. Um, sorry, I'm trying to eat pizza.
Okay. <clears throat> um, I think, okay, yeah, so she burns down. I, I assumed it was like she burned down her house with her brother and father in there. And so now her version of Silent Hill is always on fire. Or on fire very often for the most part. You don't really know for sure. Um... Or she stabbed her from the thing is when you play this game for the first time unless you do more research or unless you play it like a bunch of times in a row and inspect everything you don't really know exactly but on your first playthrough you're led to assume that um yeah with the with the whole knife thing you assume maybe she stabbed them with the burning of with with her world on fire all the time maybe she burned the house down but what's very obvious is that she was sexually uh, abused by her family and then her mother egged it on, you know? And Eddie's is pretty self-explanatory. He explains the whole thing pretty, pretty easily. I used to jump around in my bed to this song. This is my favorite song in the game when I was a kid. No, I said this is my favorite song when I was a kid. was weak. That's why I needed you. I needed someone to punish me for my sins. But that's all over now. I know the truth. Now it's time to end this. Okay, great knife on hard mode is a bit difficult. Yeah, I love this fight. <clears throat> oh my god, you really need to... Oh! I'm trying to bait out attacks, it's not working! Help! Leave us both the hell alone. All right, we better play safe, just in case. No! I have enough time for like a bullet. No, not even. Yeah, they're they're uh, pretty nasty in hard mode. Leave us both the hell alone. So I'm trying to deal with lactose intolerance at the same time as fight the boss. Oh! 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 I took my lactose pills, guys. Don't worry. But sometimes, <laughs> sometimes it doesn't, it's not super effective. Ow! Jesus. Oh, yeah, Sequisha. I suck those things down like Coca Cola. Where'd my Silent Hill be? Oh, what the fuck was that shit? It'd be there. No, mine would be in like a toilet full of milk or something. Nice auto aim.
Yeah, it's like fighting two Zinzas at the same time. Oh, the backhand! <laughs> you bastard! Uh-oh. Oh! You guys should see this on easy mode. Even normal mode. You, you get them stuck against the wall and you spam the great knife. It's so good. I don't want to risk it though, because last time I did it in another playthrough, I didn't have enough healing for the final boss. That was a little rough. Now they both die at the same time. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't know if you can do it on this version of the game. being greedy because I just don't care. Oh! <clears throat> They're close-ish to dead. They're at like half health. Oh my god, they're doing it again. Wow, dude. They're not being nice this fight. Now he's like dead. I'm afraid for the boss. I might just do some YOLO great knife attempts. So you really want to just bait them and then run away and hope you have enough time like that. But if they split up, it can get risky. On normal and easy mode, it's as simple as just running to the other side, like this. It's as simple as just running around like this, and... But hard mode is like... They are very, uh... They're very aggressive. <laughs> I'm also being very greedy. Oh my god, what is he doing, dude? If my memory serves me correct, dude, I I should just restart. I'm gonna like literally just be stuck on the last boss if I continue this. Is that it? Nope. Uh oh. I know, if I die, I'll use the sword. Which I may die, because this is not looking good. When you can see them, it's a lot easier. Here we go. Ah. Fuck it, I'm yellowing this last. I'm y I'm yellowing. I d I'm not healing because I'll just soft lock at the fucking. Oh! oh, oh. All right, let's try it. You can't get the knife stuck in the enhanced version. Which is what you do for the speedrun. 
No! I, I keep thinking he's gonna do overhand, but he's not doing it. See? This is the problem with the Great Knife. You never know what attack he's gonna do. And look at him switching hands! Look at that! The knife is, is- no, the knife is actually OP as hell, it's just, you can't do the glitch in this version. Or it's not a glitch, really. Or, well, I don't know. Whatever. It's just an animation cancel against the wall. So what you would do- in the speedrun you go- I think you go here. Not that attack, though. This is- we'll probably use less heals using the knife, honestly. Oh, now he does the side to side. I don't want him to do that. God damn, dude. Well, you can't- I don't- I already tried this last time he did- unless they re-broke the knife cancel, you can't do it in this particular fight. This is pleasant. <laughs> oh my god. Come on! This is No! See, why does he swing overhead? Dude, that's so annoying. Like, if he actually did the left to right swing, it'd be perfect here. No. Whatever. Come on, do the... Swing left. No! Why? Stupid James, don't do that! Oh, he switched left hand to right hand back. Man, it's like, okay, fine, fine, fine. First, I'm going to say this, and then maybe I'll seem like an idiot afterwards. Hit the wall, they keep saying. Even though, like, are you guys have your, your plugs in or something? Did I not say ten fucking times that they fixed it? But fine, maybe they didn't. Maybe they didn't. Maybe I'm the idiot. Alright. No. Can't change my weapon. I was just trying to cancel my... Yo, Siren, thank you for the raid. How was your stream? Why do you- James, now that isn't what I'm talking about, by the way. That obviously is going to knock it back. He's just not- Is there a way to do the attack? Or no? I feel like it's just RNG. I've tried tapping. I've tried holding it in. I've tried uh, holding in a little and letting go. You want him to swing left or right? No, not overhead. No, James. No! I actually think you have to swap to the other... Um, no, well, it's not think. You, you have to swap... Okay, wait. God, if we're gonna go all the way with this, one second. Yeah, you have to switch it to rotational.
James, are you for real right now? God, I don't even know why I'm doing this, just to prove someone wrong. I know you can't do it. But, the multiple people in chat keep telling me to do it. So, I'm like, alright. Let's, let's do it. Oh, no. The overhead. James, why? Ugh. Why won't he do the left and right swing? Like, I don't understand. You guys can tell me. I'm dead. I'm deathly curious. What? What is the issue here? Well, n n I mean, no, don't don't give me the maybes. I already tried the brain dead shit. Who knows? Actually, actually. Do, 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 do. Oh my god, I'm, I'm stuck here. I'm dead. Don't worry, I, I slightly finished eating. One sec. Hi, everybody! I know in the speedrun, you have to actually switch to keyboard or something. Here, let's try here. No, I know. By the way, guys, when I ask a question, like, how do you do it? I, I don't guess. Just stay silent. No, you don't need to talk. You don't need to answer every question. Just, if you know for a fact, tell me. If you don't know, just continue talking about whatever else. But I don't need the guessing. This right here, this is exactly what you want. But I tried this when we were in the room and it wouldn't work. So you see how he hits the wall and it cancels? They did fix this in the enhanced edition in this room, but maybe they maybe they rebroke it. I don't know from complaining. I'm not sure. But all I know is one time when I, we did this on enhanced, it wouldn't work. Okay, wait, wait, let's see. Does it work with these controls? I don't think it does. Alright, it's as simple as holding in the button. Which I already did. Oh, yeah, now he does it, yep. Yeah. I've already tried this. Alright, well, let's see if it works. So, there we go. That's good positioning. And it won't hit the wall. Oh, okay, here we go, here we go. This is it, this is it. It's working. Uh, and then he stopped. Yeah, see, 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 see. There's the problem. Once you do it once, it works. You just do it. And then they're dead. But see, I lost the bounce because it just didn't connect. And now you're sort of fucked. <clears throat> Maybe we could do it again. They'd be dead if we did it a couple more times. It's so strong. Oh! One more, one more, one more, one more, one more. Come on, come on, James, come on! <laughs> I fucking love that. It's so satisfying. It slightly works. But see, the second one, he always stops. That's brutal, dude. Whatever. It's working ish. All right, they got it. They're dead. <laughs> it worked. It slightly worked. Wow. 
Wow, that ends quickly. All right, I'm sorry. I thought it didn't work at all, but no, you can still slightly do it. I apologize, I'm an idiot. But for real though, we did go down this road last time I played this, and it wasn't that we weren't thorough enough. I was the one who was, who was like, I was being chat in that scenario. I was like, no guys, trust me, it works, I've done it. And then I kept trying to do it against the wall, and it just, yeah, it would do that. It would just like swing right through. Be like, what the hell? It's not working. What? I guess it does. Just in certain areas. I am an idiot, guys. Uh-huh. Rust colored egg. Remember in Silent Hill 1, I was talking about the sound effects. They do a good job at setting the mood in this game. Listen, here we go. Listen. Oh! What's the rust and scarlet color colored egg stand for, guys? Hey, this is a perfect time for pizza. Mary? What do you want, James? I, uh, I brought you some flowers. Flowers? I don't want any damn flowers. Just go home already. Mary, what are you saying? Look, I'm disgusting. I don't deserve flowers. Between the disease and the drugs, I look like a monster. Well, what are oh, you hell looking yes. at? Get the hell out of here! Leave me alone already! No use to anyone. I'll be dead soon anyway. Maybe today. Maybe tomorrow. It'd be easier if they'd just kill me. But I guess the hospital is making a nice profit off me. They want to keep me alive. Are you still here? I told you to go! Are you deaf? Don't come back! James! Wait! Please don't go! Stay with me! Don't leave me alone! I didn't mean what I said! Please, James! Tell me I'll be okay! Tell me I'm not going to die! Help me. It will be alligator. On my VODs channel. Guys, I have a good weapon for this fight. I move like an inch. <laughs> Mary? <laughs> Wrong again. Mary's dead. You killed her. Maria? Maria? I'm done with you. Thank you again, Siren, for the raid. And thank you, you, Beam. Mean? But I can be yours. I'll be here for you forever. Oh. And I'll never yell at you or make you feel bad. That's what you wanted. Now I understand. The problem is, you're not married. True. No, James. I won't let you. I'll never let you have your Mary back. Oh god, this bot this bot's loud as shit. Oh shit! The bats! Get away from me! 
Oh, so close. Wait, how many heals we have? 11, okay. I can't take around too long. I'll wait till I have eight heals. You bastards! Here it comes! Oh! It does so much damage to her. Oh! <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Oh, baby! Come here. All right, we have to, I'm gonna end up dying if I keep this stupid shit up. Can't save. Or will I? Or will I, guys? Oh! Come on, one more for the road. One more for the road. You bastard. <laughs> Come here. Ow! That stab hurts. She's gotta be almost dead. She's gotta be. All right, let me dust this bad boy off before we finish off my wife for a second time. Let me dust this bad boy off. One sec. All right. Best ending, like I promised, guys. Mary. James. <coughs> Forgive me. I told you that I wanted to die, James. I wanted the pain to end. That's why I did it, honey. I just couldn't watch you suffer. <coughs> no. That's not the whole truth. You also said that you didn't want to die. The truth is, part of me hated you for taking away my life. You killed me, and you're suffering for it. It's enough, James. <coughs> Mary? Uh, James! Oh wait, <laughs> this isn't best ending. Uh oh.
Uh oh, haven't seen this one in a while. <laughs> I actually haven't seen this in forever. Now I understand the real reason I came to this town. I wonder, what was I afraid of? Without you, Mary, I've got nothing. dreams I see that town Silent Hill this was also my first ending ever there again <laughs> my brother was like what the fuck is he this did. <laughs> well I'm alone there now in our special place waiting for you Waiting for you to come to see me. But you never do. And so I wait. Wrapped in my cocoon of pain and loneliness. I know I've done a terrible thing to you. Something you'll never forgive me for. I wish I could change that. But I can't. I feel so pathetic and ugly laying here, waiting for you. Every day I stare up at the cracks in the ceiling, and all I can think about is how unfair it all is. The doctor came today. He told me I could go home for a short stay. It's not that I'm getting better. It's just that this may be my last chance. I think you know what I mean. Even so, I'm glad to be coming home. I've missed you terribly. But I'm afraid, James. I'm afraid you don't really want me to come home. Whenever you come see me, I can tell how hard it is on you. I don't know if you hate me or pity me, or maybe I just disgust you. I'm sorry about that. When I first learned that I was going to die, I just didn't want to accept it. I was so angry all the time, and I struck out at everyone I loved most, especially you, James. That's why I understand if you do hate me. I want you to know this, James. I'll always love you. Even though our life together had to end like this, I still wouldn't trade it for the world. We had some wonderful years together. <laughs> Well, this letter has gone on too long, so I'll say goodbye. I told the nurse to give this to you after I'm gone. That means that as you read this, I'm already dead. 
I can't tell you to remember me. But I can't bear for you to forget me. These last few years since I became ill, I am so sorry for what I did to you, did to us. You've given me so much, and I haven't been able to return a single thing. That's why I want you to live for yourself now. Do what's best for you, James. James, you made me happy. Chat, you made me happy. Oh yeah, perfect way to end it off. Perfect song to end it off with. Yeah. After like a five minute depressing monologue. Down, now, now, now. Yeah, let's fucking go. Oh yeah. I don't have all day here, Silent Hill, too. And remember, James, there's two sides to every story. Bro! Oh, enhanced edition credits, though. I'll watch this. I'll watch this. Oh, shit. I'm not on the screen. Thank you, Jake, for the, the 38 months. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Are any of you in the chat, by the way? Anyone in this credits list? Do -do 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 -do. And has thank you, Nazura. Thank you, Jedi. Thank you, Samurai. Thank you, Turmoil. Thank you, Mr. Luna. Thank you, Howard. And Michael and Alan Partridge. Thank you, Randy. Thank you, Sean and Rick and Jake Neary. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Ross. Thank you, Minagawa. Thank you, Tomo. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Keith. Thank you, Fong. Thank you, Ben, Greg, Raul, Jamil, and Ian, too. Thank you, Ken, Sato, Jason, Paul, Dan, Sean, Jason, Manny, Della, Torrenti, Paul, Sha, and... I can't... NVIDIA, thank you. Thank you, Tommy. Thank you, Jeffrey. Thank you, Linda. Thank you, Chris, Catherine, Kirk, Rick, Cherry, Wilson, Jason, Kathy, Tammy, Kathy, Tammy, Kathy, Tammy, Connie, Catley. Thank you, uh, Happy Crockett and Cthulhu Kisses for the 12 months. Thank you. And thank you, Happy, again. Did you guys see that flow? God. Alright. It's on all three time? Or are you guys tired? 